Hello and welcome to the Yorkshire Gardeners video. This video is going to be about what vegetable seeds we can plant in February. Yes, we are now in February, so let's see what we can plant this month. So first off, we're going to look at what we can plant outside. Um, obviously, it's starting to get warmer a bit. We've still got frosts coming, so and we could still get snow. So it's vital to know what we can plant outside. Remember to check the temperatures around you, where you're based, as this is on where I am based, what I'm doing this video on. So the first thing that we can plant is shallots. We can plant shallots outside in light soil. We don't want it to be too heavy when we're planting shallots outside. Uh, these can be picked up from the local garden center and you can plant them outside uh, we've got plenty of information on our website about how to plant shallots outside so that is one job which can be done now next up we can plant Jerusalem artichoke outside as well that's something that I've never tried growing myself uh, I've read a lot about it recently uh, so it's maybe something that we'll, we'll try this month so make sure you stay tuned for watching that and um, we'll show you how we get on with planting Jerusalem artichoke also if you've not already planted it you can plant your garlic outside I've got mine planted I planted mine back in November so if you've not planted your garlic outside yet make sure you get your garlic in as you're running out of time now uh, we need to get this planted so now is the time to be planting it uh, make sure that it's a weed free soil and you add plenty of food to the soil and some compost uh, to make it light draining and keep it weed free. You can also plant some varieties of broad beans now. Uh, they need to be the hardy variety. You can either plant them outside straight into the ground but make sure you keep them protected as mice will like to come along and pinch them broad beans out of the soil. Uh, so you can plant your broad beans now. You can also plant them indoors if you want. You can plant them in individual pots so that when they grow, you can just plant them straight outside when uh, the temperature warms up a bit. Or you can plant them into a trough container so that when they grow, you can just put your trough container on your patio and you can let it grow up some fencing. But make sure you put some netting up for it to cling onto and to tie it onto. So those are the things that we can plant outside. So next up, we're gonna look at what seeds we can plant in the greenhouse. As the greenhouse is obviously a lot warmer than being outside, uh, it's not susceptible to frost um, and the cold winds, it's a lot warmer. Also, if you've got a garden, a greenhouse heater, that can warm it up as well and help germinate those seeds. So let's have a look at what we can plant in the greenhouse this month. First off, you can get those onion seeds planted. If you are wanting to grow some mega sized onions, you can pick up some onion seeds. Uh, there's plenty of varieties out there uh, that garden centers, or I'll pop some links below for you to watch. So you can pick up some onion seeds and you can get those planted now in the greenhouse. Next up, you can plant your sweet pepper seeds. Peppers need a long time to get going. Um, you need to get those started pretty early to get some decent peppers in the summer. Um, I've grown peppers myself in the past. Uh, they can be quite easy to grow actually. It just needs the right temperature. Uh, I've got a polytunnel to grow mine in, so it just needs the right temperature for you to get some peppers uh, and some gentle help with pollination. Uh, you can use the paintbrush trick to help with pollination or if you've got enough insects and bees around they'll obviously help with the pollination next up is celery celery is something that i have never grown myself i don't actually like celery it's a required taste i think uh, but i've read up a lot about celery at the moment um, there's two types of celery what you can grow you can grow some in a trough uh, which you can grow or you can just grow some which are standard straight on top of the soil. Uh, so there's two varieties you can grow of celery. If you're growing celery, let me know if you've had much luck in the past. Like I said, it's not something I've grown before because I don't actually like it. 
I might try growing it just to see if it's easy enough to grow, but that's not something that I'm desperate to grow. Next up is leeks. You can start your leeks now if you're wanting to get some whopping size leeks, um, or if you wanted to do them for shows. It, I've never done anything for shows myself. Uh, it's something I've thought about. I'll see how I get on this year. I'm going to try some leeks myself, so I'm going to be planting some of them, so stay tuned for the video for that. So now it's time to plant some leeks. Another thing that you can grow now is celeriac. Celeriac can be grown a bit like celery. Again, it's not something that I've grown before, so if you've tried celeriac in the past, let me know in the comments below and tell me how you've got on growing celeriac. Next up are your brassica plants. Um, these need a long time to grow. Uh, first up is Brussels sprouts. Yes, you won't be picking them until November, December time, but you need to get them planted now because they take that long to grow. You need to start them nice and early. So now is the time to get them Brussels sprouts growing. And the homegrown variety tastes a lot nicer than the shop bought variety. So if you've not grown Brussels sprouts before, give them a try, give them a taste and let me know how you get on. Next up is cabbage. Obviously there's plenty of varieties of cabbages out there. Uh, you can get different colours, different varieties, different seasonal cabbages. But if you're wanting some for the end of the year or middle of the year, now is the time to be planting your cabbage seeds. Next up is cauliflower. Now I've tried two varieties of cauliflowers. I've tried the white variety and I've tried the purple variety. Last year was the first time I've grown the purple variety and wow! Let me just say that is fantastic. If you check on my Facebook page, The Yorkshire Gardener, you'll see photos of that purple cauliflower which I grew last year and it was fantastic and it tasted absolutely delicious. So if you've never tried purple cauliflower before or tried growing it, give it a go and let me know. If you have tried growing it, also let me know, see, let me know how you got on with growing it. Uh, it didn't need much attention whatsoever, this cauliflower which I grew last year. So purple cauliflower is the way forward next up is peas uh, peas are obviously very simple to grow all you do is dig the trough and plant them straight in or you can grow them in pots first and then plant them outside but like i said they're very easy to grow so i've always grown them straight away outside less faffing just get the trough made plant the seeds and let them grow up some netting uh, but obviously if you wanted to grow them on your patios or in uh, your backyard you can grow them in a trough and let them grow up some netting on the fencing next up is aubergine aubergines are becoming very popular in the uk at the moment um, there's many varieties out there which have been focused on for growing in the uk so make sure you check the packets of what you've purchased aubergines are grown a bit like tomato plants and cucumber plants you can grow about five or six aubergines per plant. Uh, it's best to chop off the top when you've got a few plants, a uh, few aubergines growing on it, and keep feeding it, and you will get some great aubergines off. So now is the time to plant your aubergine seed. Next up are two of my favourite, which I love to grow. First up is cucumbers. Um, you can obviously plant them in march and april but if you start them early you will get a longer cropping season which obviously is beneficial so if you've got a nice warm greenhouse get your cucumber seeds sown and you can get them growing ready to eat in summer and the next one is tomato plants obviously they are one of my favorite as well as you can never have enough tomatoes and i certainly don't all the seeds seem to germinate so I end up with loads of tomato plants. But there are many varieties out there. They are the small ones, which are excellent for just eating straight like that. Or there's the cooking variety. There's black ones now, there's yellow ones. There's lots of different colors out there. So have a look around and see which tomatoes you wish to grow. Now is obviously the time to grow them. But again, you can start them off in March time or April when it's a bit warmer. But obviously if you start them now you get a longer cropping season next up is beetroot beetroot you can sow for months ahead 
uh, but you can start them now so that you get more crops obviously you can plant them every few weeks or months so that you keep getting a crop of beetroot all through the summer and you'll keep picking them and being able to eat them so you can start beetroot now if you've got a warm greenhouse and get those seeds planted next up are carrots carrots are one of the hardest things to grow i've never had much luck with carrots a lot of people find them easy as long as you get the soil consistency right and it's not stony you will get good carrots but like i said i've never had much luck uh, i might try growing them in pots this year see how we get on there but you can start carrots now again there's plenty of varieties out there there's small ones there's massive ones there's rainbow variety carrots uh, which could be like purple yellow um, so add a bit of color to your dinner so see which varieties are out there and try one yourself next up is chicory i've never grown chicory myself um, it's something i've tried i've had it in coffee chicory coffee which is absolutely delicious uh, but again it's not something i've tried growing so but now is the time to plant those seeds i might give it a try but we'll see it's not something high on my list that i'm going to try growing myself next up is radish radish again like beetroot you can plant it all the way through months ahead uh, but you can start some now so you can like plant them in different batches so that you keep getting radishes through the year uh, but you can start some off now in the greenhouse if it's warm enough and you can get your radishes planted again there's plenty of varieties out there there's a fast growing variety and it's more slower they don't take long to grow radish so you can grow them to the size you want but obviously the smaller usually ones are the nicer than the massive ones lettuce you can start now uh, there's plenty of varieties of lettuce out there um, there's the iceberg or there's the full leaf variety I, I tend to grow the iceberg variety but obviously again you don't want too many growing at the same time because when they all grow they all get ready at the same time and you can't keep up with the amount of lettuces that you've got so it's best to plant a few every few weeks so that you're picking them on a rotational basis you're not wanting to pick them all at once spring onions they can be sown now they can be planted in batches so you can plant a few every month so that you're picking them but obviously in a spring onion packet you get absolutely hundreds of seeds so you can plant quite a few every month to keep getting a crop through the summer there's two different varieties of spring onion out there there's a the white variety and there's a red variety of spring onion i've not tried the red variety myself it might be something new that i try this year i do like to try something new every year when i'm growing my vegetables it's good to keep trying new stuff next up is spinach if you want to become like popeye grow some spinach um there's it's very easy to grow spinach uh, in the right conditions and you could get some great crops of spinach um, you don't need many plants of that as you can just keep picking it as and when you need it so if you grow some spinach have a few plants so that you can keep picking some every few days last but not least is the main one itself it's the potato now is the time if you want to get some early potatoes and start putting them in your greenhouse um, not everybody chips the potatoes uh, some people swear by it some people don't they say they don't need to chip them or they do need to chip them i tend to chip them myself which i've always had success from when i've grown them like that and also you can obviously grow them in pots if you've got potato bags you can grow them in that i've done plenty of videos on that so make sure you have a look through my youtube channel and you will be able to see how to plant them in bags so that is everything for february that is all the stuff you can grow for vegetable wise in your greenhouse and outside so i hope you found it useful remember to subscribe to my channel for every month when i will post this also i'll be posting on what you what flowers you can plant this month what food you can plant this month jobs you can do in the allotment and garden this month so make sure you stay tuned for all them videos if you subscribe you will get notified when i post these videos check the description below for my website 
that's got all the details on how to plant these seeds and vegetables and it will also help you with any gardening tasks out there as I'm always updating it as there is lots and lots of stuff on gardens and allotments. So thanks for watching today's video, give it a like, leave a comment in the description below so that I can see that you've watched it and enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, I've been the Yorkshire Gardener and remember, keep gardening.